Hello and welcome to This Week on Q. I'm your host, Derek Lambert. This week, our shows are centered around the SGA election results as we introduce you to the, the newly elected candidates. Today, we will speak to SGA Vice President Mary Argana after running unopposed. Mary is a freshman political science major who aims to lead a student movement to change the culture of campus. Mary, thank you very much for taking some time out of your day, coming down and talk to us. No problem. Thanks for having me. So we appreciate it. So could you uh, talk to us a little bit about, you know, what made you run for this position, especially, you know, with the changes and everything going on on campus, what made you go for this? So throughout the semester, I've had a lot of friends come up to me and tell me that they were unhappy with their life here on campus and that they were looking at other schools. And that really got to me. Um, I really like QU. I mean, that's why I wanted to run for the position first off, to improve the school. And I was tired of seeing people leave, my best friends leave. And I think that a good college life starts with the students. So I felt it was our responsibility to make it a better atmosphere and um, experience for the students that um, not are only here, but are coming. So I just felt like I could help lead that movement. And so I ran and was elected. Good. Yeah. Uh, could you talk a little bit, you know, you talk about your friends that have transferred and things like that, and that's a hard thing to go through. And you, you know, you're currently a freshman. You'll be going into your sophomore year. Um, you know, what made you really step up for that role, especially being a freshman? I mean, you're new to campus anyways, and you're really stepping up and taking a large role on campus. So um, initially, I had my doubts. I was like, I'm only a freshman. I don't want to overstep my boundaries here. But then I realized that if I ran for a position like this, that I could carry through a movement. So not only could I implement change, but I could see it happen over time. Because it's, you know, this change um, Gino and I want to initiate is not going to happen overnight. So um, he's a sophomore, so he's pretty young too. And um, through the changes that we will make, we can see it continue. And hopefully, if we do a good job, we can have re-elections and... Yeah, I have no doubts about that, though. So you'd really like to see things progress through, you know, your time here at QU. Yes, and actually see the change. My ultimate goal is to leave this campus a better place than when I came to it. So. Good. Yeah. Um, what is something, you know, if students are really wanting to make sure that their voice are heard, you know, what are you going to do to make sure that every student on campus is represented? Um, Gino and I are currently working on orchestrating a survey for the students. So... It's going to be either a mass email or we might have some written forms as well, you know, at the CAF where a lot of students end up. So we will be asking them questions about uh, different events they would like to attend, what they'd like to change, just little things that make a big impact in the end. Mm -hmm. And little, even like my complaints and my friends' complaints, and that's why we think SGA is such a good vehicle to do that because we can get such a broad variety of voices and take them to people and get things done. So Good. Um, yeah. So you talked a little bit there about you know taking it to the right people. So mm -hmm. obviously student government, um, and especially you being the vice president now, mm -hmm. you'll be working a lot with the Office of Student Engagement and specifically our Dean of Students, Christine Tracy. Um, so could you talk to us a little bit about that, like maybe the relationship you already have with Christine, if you have one, and how you're, you know, how you're going to continue that relationship and form that relationship to make sure that SGA is as, as effective as it can be. Yes. So um, initially when I first met Christine Tracy, she was a little intimidating. Um, she comes off very uh, go-getter, and I am a lot like that. So uh, at first I didn't know how to take her, but now that I've had a chance to sit down with her and we've talked over our goals for this campus, I think they're very similar. So um, it was funny when we first had our meeting, she said that she and I were a lot alike, and we had this go-getter, we're going to do this, and um, don't say no. And then Gina was like, hold on, like, we need to actually like, go through this process, and he's mm -hmm. very methodical. And so I think that all of us together, we're going to balance each other out and get a lot of things done. Good. So you think yeah. there is a happy balance between the three of you, because the three of you would yes. be yourself, Gino, and Christine. Yes, and Christine is that representative that will uh, speak our voice or have our voice heard to the um, board members and those who mm -hmm. are have that such high power here. Uh, that's kind of another good question too is you know what is the Dean of Students Christine Tracy's role for you like what what is her role for you for Gino for uh, student government? Um, she's in charge of basically the students and and their happiness here and and she has a lot of responsibility in handling the communications 
in as far as what comes to us in having that um, go to these executive boards or um, just the chair members that call the shots. And, you know, this university is for the students. So we are um, pushing to have our voice heard because, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't know what the students want, then this university will fail. So we're working on improving that. Good. So communication overall. Good. So just stay right there. We're going to take a quick break. So coming up, more with our SGA Vice President, Mary Argana, and how she aims to make QU a better place for students. You're walking, watching This Week on Q. Yes. Growing up, I had one deaf friend, and that was the only deaf person I knew before coming to school here at QU. And now I regularly get to hang out and socialize with the deaf community, which has been awesome. Sign language isn't like exactly like learning another spoken language because you use your body, facial expressions, um, your hands or your instruments. So it, it is definitely learning a new language. It has its own grammar and syntax and everything. Um, it's not exactly like English like a lot of people think it is. QUTV is more than a news outlet. One in five undergrads work at least 35 hours a week year-round. Students involved with QUTV learn life lessons, create lasting memories, and gain the experience needed to succeed in future careers. Students need to be involved with QUTV as a viewer or as a participant because we need to know what's going on around our campus. Knowledge is powerful and QUTV News serves to inform not only the students, but the Quincy University community as a reliable and powerful news network. Welcome back to This Week on Q. Uh, again, we're sitting down with Mayor Ar Mary Argana, Vice President of Student Government Association. So Mary, could you elaborate a little bit uh, for us? You know, there is a bit of change in SGA. You know, a lot of people here are used to the, the current student senate it consists of the club and organizations rep. So if you are in a club or organization, you have an SGA rep that mm -hmm. goes to these meetings. Um, so that's getting changed up a little bit. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, we think that um through having representatives from class, they have a broad exposure to all these different student lives. So even if you're not in a group or an organization, you still have your voice heard. And we are considering actually having like an executive team so that, um, you know how the president has political advisors. Mm -hmm. So we were talking, Gino and I were talking about having representatives from clubs, like higher ups, like vice president, pre presidents or um, presidents come and talk to us and voice our opinion. They won't necessarily have voting power, but they will have their voice heard. So what they will do is they will communicate their concerns to us, and we will go through um, the different levels of power and So you're talking about like done. clubs and organizations, presidents yes. being able to come in. So, yes. So if there was a Greek organization on campus that was having an issue and they wanted the student government to hear it, yes. essentially their president would step up, come to this meeting, and mm -hmm. voice that to the student senate. Yes. So we can have things carried out. So we can get mm -hmm. them to the right people, have information come back, or whatever you need. Maybe it's money or a financial thing. So you can have funding, and they'll there will just be better communication overall because mm -hmm. I think that's a huge issue right now. Yeah, I think everything, you know, on campus, uh, any aspect, it comes down to communication. So mm -hmm. that's good that you guys know that and you're moving forward with that. Yes, yeah. Um, so moving, you know, you and Gino working together, is there anything specifically that you are wanting to move towards? Like are there any, you know, maybe you and Gino have a couple top goals that you and him together really want to hit? Um, I know Gino, he wants to change the atmosphere on campus and just and I as well I, I called it culture so we just want the environment to feel more of a home setting and somewhere that mm -hmm. you want to come instead of like oh like I go to QU yay like we mm -hmm. want it to be more of a thing of pride and so we both think that um, community involvement and that's you know through events or um, having just different involvement where you know your voice is being heard or um, you complaining about something and it getting changed. Like you know things are being done. Right. So SGA, you know, in the past maybe hasn't done that much in mm -hmm. the past few years. So we're um, reinventing the name and we want to, like we want the students to know that it does matter. Like you matter and you coming to these events and you being there, like it does matter. And it will make you happier in the end too, I think. So. Mm -hmm. No, I think that yeah. those, are, those are some really good goals. Uh, so now, maybe you more specifically, you, uh, mm -hmm. what, what is, you know, your top thing? Um, you know, obviously, you know, they're only year-long terms, and so you would like to get reelected right. for next year. <clears throat> what is one thing that you would love to see done 
on campus within the SGA realm that you want to have, you know, succeed? Well, overall, in my four years, I wanted to, to leave it a better campus. But specifically, I want to improve their retention rate, um, mm -hmm. even if it's by a little. And, you know, I will be here. And even if I'm not reelected, I'm still going to be in SGA. So as long as I can see people coming to these events and students just being happier and um, doing different things like that, and we're still working on all that and revitalizing programs and such, mm -hmm. but just not hearing so many complaints, I guess. Right. And, you know, seeing people happier. That's my goal. Good. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we talked a little bit. So now what if we don't have, if there's a student on campus who maybe isn't involved in a club or organization, um, because we do have those students that are on campus that aren't really all that involved, you know, it, what if they have concerns? What, what should they do? Well, um, they can either email us or um, we have different routes of going to Gino or I or the presidents or um, they can communicate to a teacher or someone like that and um, or go to Christine Tracy herself. Mm -hmm. So there's different ways and Gino and I are working on having a better communication platform like we're talking about having a QU app okay. so they can have an app and you know send us a message that way if they mm -hmm. don't have means to email or something like that. Right. So we're working on different platforms that will enable better communications. Good. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, anything we didn't get to touch that you want to say? Um, I'm just really excited about my opportunity to serve the people here. So. Perfect. Yeah. Well, Mary, thank you very much for coming on. Thanks I know we really me. appreciate it. Thank you. So coming up after the break, we have a look at what campus events are going on this week. We'll be right back. The future of the program is very bright. It's an exciting time on QU campus because we have QU TV. We have a television station where students can experience uh, working as a director, an anchor, a reporter, photographer, um, doing weather, doing sports. We also have a newspaper where students can report, be photo editors, be um, executive editors. We've got a lot of opportunity there working on the student newspaper. We also provide students with the opportunity to do magazine uh, articles with heavy research and uh, giving them a little bit more time to um, expand on articles and, and do some in-depth uh, investigative work. Um, you know, moving forward, it's exciting because all of the skills they learn in every avenue uh, will translate into what we have in the future and web writing and mobile writing and all of our distribution platforms. We have an incredible opportunity to grow the department, to grow the program, and to grow students into excellent journalists. Join me, Coach Marty Bell, head basketball coach of the Quincy University Hawks, live from Chicks on the River every Monday night at 6.30 p.m. or on ESPN 1440 for the Coach Marty Bell Show. Hear from our coaches and players as Ben and I recap the previous games and preview our upcoming opponents. Grab your friends and family and come out to Chicks on the River for a great meal and meet the Hawks. QU Men's Basketball, Chicks on the River, and ESPN 1440, a winning combination. And as always, it truly is... SJA elections are official. Thank you to all the students that went out and voted. Here's a look at your election, uh, elected SGA representatives. So for senior reps, we have Carrie Allen and Matt Anderson. Uh, junior reps, we have Timmy Ajayi, uh, Kadiatu Ba, and Bridget Hunkins. As for your sophomore reps, you have Kimberly Bukowski, Quincy Foon, and Trip Gibson, and Fallon Myers. Next, we have a look at what's going on next week on Q. On April 5th, Dr. Sign speaks to students about emotional health and student success in the Hall of Fame room at 7 p.m. This Thursday, the QU men's volleyball team plays against McKendry in Pepsi Arena at 7 p.m. And starting this weekend, the men's and women's tennis teams play against Rockhurst University on Friday. And on Saturday, the women's tennis team play against William Jewell at home. Also this Saturday, if you're looking to be a part of the QU dance team, the Hawkettes are holding tryouts for the next year's team. The auditions begin at noon in the HFC aerobics room. So thank you so much for joining us for this week on Q. If you haven't already, like us on Facebook to see the latest from QU Media, and tune in to, uh, to Channel 97 on campus for the latest on Q. For this week on Q, I'm Derek Lambert, and we'll see you next week, Hawks.